Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can make a factory data reset with the Samsung Galaxy A21 and A21s. Okay, first of all, you have to off the phone because the, uh, the method I want to show you is with the button. So in case your phone is free, stands so on, that you can uh, reset it as well. Okay, so if the phone is completely turned off, then we will need the power button and the volume up button. And if you press these both buttons now for the same time, then hold these buttons until you see now here the Samsung logo, leave it. And now we have to wait and we will enter a special menu for Android. This one here. Okay, first of all, we can reboot the system now, but you don't want it. We need this point here, wipe data factory reset. So you can not use your finger here, as you can see, to um, navigate. You need the volume keys and the power key to navigate. Okay, volume down is to go down, volume up is to go up. Okay, so let's go now, as I said, to wipe data factory reset. This one here. Okay, and if you want to confirm it, use the power button. Tap the power button now to confirm. So then the phone is asking you if you're really sure what you're doing because we will release all the data on the phone. So um, all the pictures and so on will be gone. So uh, in our case, yes, we are sure. Go down one step. So the factory data reset, then confirm again with the power button. So now he's doing a factory data reset. Okay, this works pretty fast, by the way, it was absolutely normal. Um, the next step will take a bit more time uh, because now we have to reboot the system. So reboot system now, uh, it's already marked. So confirm with the power button and this would take now a couple of minutes. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. Uh, let me tell you also, uh, before, if you want to resell the phone or give it to someone else and reset it, uh, and uh, then you should uh, uh, then you should remove the Google account first. I will give you some instructions below that video here in the description, and um, you should remove that because may the other person cannot use it if you leave your Google account on um, the phone. So this procedure takes now a couple of minutes absolutely normal and then you can enter the new uh, your Google address and so on and uh, configure it, set up the phone as it would be brand new. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question and uh, maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me some thumbs up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so so much for and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or me just subscribe me. would be really a pleasure to see you again and uh, yeah Maybe until next time. Ciao.